Yeah. It is only September 9th. Not too early, though, to talk about the flu and getting a flu shot. Dr. Spencer Wolf of South Dayton Family Physicians says it is not too early. He's live this morning to tell flu. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. We're also talking about the uh, the enterovirus. These are two different things, obviously. That's hitting now. The flu, as you and I chatted quickly about, starts a little bit later. Right. The flu season typically starts in October, works its way through the season until at very latest May. Its peak months are usually January and February. And what about now, the flu shot? Folks should be getting it? If your doctor's offices has it, go get the flu shot now it's always better to get it early rather than too late and talk about the different strains because i know each year obviously medical professionals come up with the flu shot and inside is a strain that they hopes to take care of it but that's not always the case that's that's true but it's something that is figured out through the WHO and their surveillance across the entire globe. Um, the final flu strains are determined by the FDA here in this country and they usually do a pretty good job of figuring out what's coming up in the flu season. And what should folks know about the flu? What exactly are the symptoms of the flu compared to maybe if folks are suffering from fatigue or maybe some allergies? How do you know if you have it? Well, if you have the flu, you are truly miserable and you have fever, you have muscle aches, um, headaches, and sometimes there's a nausea component, but typically um, go with the muscle and fevers and um, general fatigue, as well as um, sometimes a runny nose and symptoms like that. And when you treat patients for the flu, what is your best advice? Say they didn't get a flu shot, they come see you. What do you say to them? I always say you should have gotten a flu shot. Okay, <laughs> that, that's good to point out, especially during this interview. And then um, <laughs> come on back with, Typically with the flu, you want to start treatment early. You want them to come in within the first 48 to 72 hours of the illness. Um, we can start a medication called Tamiflu, which doesn't cure the virus, but it helps shorten the duration of the illness. And what do people say, yeah, I got the flu shot, but I still got the flu. Does that happen very often, or maybe are they feeling a different type of sickness? So that's, that is typically, that is a myth. The flu shot does not cause the flu. That what people usually experience, um, there's a couple possibilities, but one is they get the shot and they have a localized immune response to the flu shot. That might be a fever and fatigue for a day or two, but it's not the two or three weeks of illness that is typical with the flu. Then sometimes people come in late to get their flu shot. Everybody in the office is sick. They come in saying, I got to get the flu shot now. The flu shot doesn't work for two weeks. So by that time, they probably already had the virus anyway. And so the flu shot didn't cause it. They, they already had it and it's just not working yet. And what if I got the flu shot now by, you know, the end of flu season, am I still going to be covered? Right. Uh, the CDC, on their, with all the data that they have, typically if you get the flu shot, you are immune to those flu strains that were in that shot for years. It, it usually lasts um, uh, well after the flu season is over. And what should folks do to prepare? Say I want to get the flu shot today. Should I work out, eat normal? What, what, what should I do? Being healthy, eating right, and regular exercise always shortens the duration of any illness, it seems. But I would also say if you want to get a flu shot, call your doctor's office. Make sure they have it available first. They usually become available starting September, October, this time of year. All right. Dr. Spencer Wolf, thanks for coming in. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure.